I've definitely learned that you have to be selfish. You know, you have to look at yourself as the biggest priority and you know, make changes that are going to be in your favor. And that's something that this year, mostly, that, that, that's what I'm taking um, into account the most, um, doing what's best for me in any given situation. And tonight, that was coming to the Armory at 7.30 at night to get a workout in. So it was, uh, it was five, five sets of four. Uh, the goal was uh, thir 32, 30, 28, 26, and then uh, start the set over again with a two minute rest. And uh, first set, uh, or the first four sets I was in flats running on the outside of the track. We just, we connect really well. You know, he's a Jersey guy and we just kind of hit it off right away even in the recruiting process. But uh, he understands me, he knows what kind of runner I am, what kind of person I am, and we just, we just work really well together. This is the first time in a while I've been on the track, so it's more about feeling, feeling the pace and feeling what, this is what a 28 second 200 feels like, this is what a 26 second 200 feels like, and if it was a little slow, you know, it's okay, we're in flats, we're out in, we're out in lane four, you know. Well, that's, that's how he trained me in college, you know, a lot of, a lot of runs and, and paces were, you know, just go, go what you feel is, is the pace. And uh, today, so today was a little different where he gave me actual times to hit. Um, but again, he was like, you know, if, it's, if it was too hard, he had no problem saying, you know, ease off or cut the rest or more rest or something. Um, so it's something I've been used to over time. But uh, first set went well. I was a little slow in the first one, but overall, just trying to get the pace of things. I, I think I hit all of them. One down. So what were those in? That was uh, 32, 30, 28, 26. So you're just kind of easing into these? Or? That's, that's going to be the whole thing. Yeah. So we'll do that east set. Yeah. 32, 30, 28, 26. The second and third set, I was a little off on the on the first two, and I was a little slow. <laughs> Hard time finding the pace. You know, with with a workout like this, where the pace is changing every single repetition, it's it's kind of hard to get a get a sense for. Like you said, you know, it's it's my training. You know, it's it's um, I want to do what's best for me in any given situation, and uh, I want to have a lot more say in what I'm doing, and I, I want to be confident with what I'm doing. And if I don't want to do something, then I can say, hey, Vid, you know, I'm not doing that. And he's and well, it's a conversation, and uh, you know, he understands that, and and but he knows that I'm going to be looking out for my best interest, and that's that's how it's going to be, you know, because. No one else is going to be there on the starting line with me in the U.S. final. You know, I have to, I'm, I'm going to be the one running the race, so I got to make sure I'm comfortable and confident with what I'm doing. Do you want to take a little last rest? Uh, let's, let's keep wearing this right now. Okay. So how's he looking out there? He's fine. This is his first time on on the track. Really, I mean, he's done some strides and things like that, but he hadn't done a workout yet. So he missed some time. Um, his calf was really sore, and uh, we're kind of babying him back into it. Okay, now, come on. So, he gets in shape pretty quick. By the third, fourth, and fifth one, I was kind of, I was kind of getting in a rhythm, and it was, it was starting to feel better. Oh, we like this one. You know, in 2011, it was the first time he was on the track. He struggled through 20, 30, 30s at the end, but he made it. And so this, you know, he's well ahead of where he was then. And it's just a good workout for him that, you know, and, and it's not strenuous or rigorous because we want to come back and do it over and over and better and better. You gotta have the good support system, and I'm lucky to have that with my parents and Coach Vidge, Coach Gags. You know, the New Jersey New York group was great. You know, we're, we're really good friends, and they're they're a very humble group. You know, they work really hard, and I think uh, that's really important. Something that I've learned over the years as well. The goal is definitely to make the world world championship team. Whether it's the 800 or the 1500, we'll see. But uh, that is by far the biggest goal I have, and honestly, you know, the most the something I'm looking forward to the most. You know, just getting in the, the U.S. final and trying to get a top three spot. Very nice. What was it like to get back on the track again? It's hard. <laughs> yeah. I think that was, those were my first 26 and second 200s since July or August. That was good. I couldn't get the ones in the middle. Was the effort still there though, do you think? It's hard to tell. 
Would like that speed just come in time? Yeah, it'll come in time, yeah. Just haven't done it in a while. But that was overall, that was good. Um, oh, sorry, you gotta talk about the man bun. The man bun, yeah. I was growing this huge fro out all my last semester of, uh, of school. I, I, made a, I made a pact with myself that I wasn't gonna cut my hair my, until I graduated college. And uh, I recently got my diploma, so I, I went to my barber uh, and I said, you've got a blank canvas here with a whole head of hair, what are you gonna do? And I, you know, he said, this is what we're doing, and I trusted him and- We don't, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. So far, I'm, I'm feeling it. I don't know. Vidge hates it, but uh, I'm feeling it. We'll see how long we can let it ride. Hey, you've got a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, uh, any, any, there's Vidge. Yeah. Here, we'll get you in there.